During the 19th and 20th centuries, government departments received lots of letters on a wide range of subjects from members of the public, businesses or community groups, as well as from other government departments. These letters often included attachments, such as related documents, such as maps, reports, plans, other letters, newspaper clippings. Record keepers of the time had to find a way to manage and organise all of them. One of the typical solutions they used was to group the letters on a particular subject together. These were called correspondence files. A correspondence file on a subject could often span many years, sometimes as much as several decades. Correspondence files are very useful to researchers because of the range of subjects they cover and can be helpful for a wide range of research interests, particularly to understand how people felt about government decisions and how they impacted on their lives, as well as a way to find out how government decisions were made and why. In order to keep track of where each letter ended up, that is, which correspondence file it was placed within, record keepers typically used registers and indexes in combination. These were large books in which they recorded details about each of the letters and how they were filed. A register often recorded the following information for each letter received. The date the letter was written. The date the letter was registered when it was received in the government department's office a unique sequential number that identified the particular letter, a brief description of what the letter was about, whether the letter should be added to an existing correspondence file on the same or similar subject, placed in a new correspondence file because there was no existing file on that subject, or sent to another government department that needed to see it and respond to it. Indexes were often organised alphabetically, and can be used to find letters received on a particular subject. For researchers, these are the best place to start. When used in combination with registers, you can find the file number of a correspondence file in which a letter was contained. Just like the record keeper who managed these records, you will need to use this file number to order the correspondence file containing the letter or document you are interested in viewing. Each government department did all of this slightly differently. They organised their registers, indexes and correspondence in a slightly different way. And this changed over time to become more streamlined. By the 1960s, finding correspondence was simplified so that as a researcher, you only need to use a subject index. Because of the differences in the way correspondence files were organised by each government department, always start your research by reading the About section in our catalogue for that record series. This will tell you if you need to look up a register, index or both to find the correspondence file number to get to the records you are seeking. We have created a series of videos to assist you using one of the more complicated 19th century correspondence systems involving registers and indexes, the Chief Secretary's Inward Correspondence, and will explain how to use its indexes and registers to locate a correspondence file of interest, and ultimately, to find a specific letter or attached document. Good luck!